It is that time again. Morning. And it is that place again. Okay, I'll have my name vlog. And I have to go to work without an hat today. No. Luckily, I gotta wake up and hold the baby for a little while because he was really happy, so you know. It's all good. It's all good. I have some things for like business stuff that I wanna get done, and I have some personal things that I wanna get done. And we'll see how it actually goes because now I can't tag team Tibbs with Sean. <laughs> I'll probably get like one thing done. Well, part of our mission for the day has been accomplished. Tibbs and I just stopped by Walmart, got some things so that I can make signs to advertise, you know, the kind that you like stake out on the road. We really don't know how effective it will be, but it seems to be a popular thing in this area at least. Sorry if the camera's shaky. Also got some just a few groceries for breakfast and stuff. Tibbs is definitely ready for a break, as you can hear. And Sean always makes fun of me for going over budget really badly whenever we shop. I will have you know that today I only went over 76 cents. Booyah. Oh my gosh, guys, you have no idea how long I was at work today. Look at this. One o'clock! One o'clock! One o'clock! One o'clock! One o'clock! I'm not excited about this at all. I'm going to clean the house. Look, I know you might not find it as exciting as I do, but look, it's one o'clock. I have time to make my house look clean. It's fantastic! I'm excited about this! Here in Manitou Springs, we do not have the best and the brightest of construction workers. Today's detour passes right by our place, which is fine for most vehicles. However, there is specifically a sign posted that says, No trailers, no trucks, no buses. Manitou Springs is a tourist town. There are a lot of trailers and trucks and buses that must pass through this town. So this is what I'm looking at outside right now. That is a big tour bus that tried to go down where it's not supposed to. Now I don't blame the bus because that's where the detour was taking people and its next option down the street is an even steeper problem. However, you would think that the construction workers would say, hmm, we should not be flagging the buses and the trucks and trailers to take the same route that's only suitable for small cars. They haven't been. I wonder if this will happen again today. Also, now that traffic is having to be detoured from the detour, which the next exit down, like I said, is even steeper, I also know that that exit has bad, um, uh, what's it called, bad sight lines for pulling out into traffic, so hopefully they're not causing fender benders today by detouring people through a place where it's very difficult to see and pull out properly. <laughs> Oy vey. Hey buddy. So I stopped and talked to the upstairs neighbor. We told you the other day about that incident with their gross puppy pad up there and them sharing the mess with us. Um, <clears throat> she was out there with the dog and I thought, you know what, I'll just go talk to her in person because I don't know if the office had done anything yet. Went up there and she was fine about it. She's like, oh, I'm sorry and didn't realize blah 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 blah. I said, yeah, our porch smells like dog pee and poo now. I said, if you could at least move it to the other corner or something because part of the porch does not hang over ours so she moved it to the side where it doesn't hang over and said um, that if it happens again to let her know so I'm glad that's resolved well at least that's resolved for now hopefully there won't be another issue with it just chilling 
We just chill. I finally got that bus out. However, it's taken an, a big tow truck and a couple of policemen. Sean was telling me that when he was at work, they saw, they did see a sign further down, like toward the beginning of uh, this main part of the road that does say trucks and buses have to go this other way. So I guess that driver missed that memo somehow. Oh good, now the cops are just chilling here. It wasn't me! Well, it is almost 4.30. I'm gonna go down and get some change so I can do some laundry. Hectate's gonna come with. Hi, Hecky. Guess this was more like just an update, like, hey guys, I'm still here. Hectate, come. Oh my gosh, Tibbs finally fell asleep. I have been trying to put him to sleep three or four times today and he has not taken a single nap and now he's finally asleep which is why I'm gonna go while I can. When Sean came home from work after a while he turned on the uh, DVD player so we could have some background noise because I was trying to put tips to sleep and he saw what was in the DVD player and he's like oh why are you watching these I had put on some like old like 1940s and 50s movies about warriors, right? So it's a whole bunch of these like, it's kind of like spaghetti westerns where the Italians kind of went crazy making bad movies for a while. Well, they made a bunch of bad movies about warriors too. So I, we have a collection of those and uh, I put those in and he's like, making all these comments like, oh, mom has bad taste in movies. These movies are awful, blah, 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 blah. And now after he's taken his shower, he's up there sitting on the couch, watching them in his underwear in trance like this. I agree with him. Yes, they are awful movies, but they're also really good movies. You know what I mean? Like. Those old movies where it's like, wow, the acting in this is awful, but like the costumes and the props and the set are all awesome. There was a time when dinner was kind, and its voice was soft, and the soft was exciting. I think I messed up the words, but this dinner is perfect. I am so excited to have this full plate of food, you have no idea. And we're watching what? Breakfast Club. <laughs> oh, We've been in an yeah. 80s mood. We just did, uh, probably we just do Real Genius and then Ferris Bueller. And now we're doing this, you know. That's how it goes. Say thank you for watching. Thank you, Los Angeles. You've been great. And good night. Can you give a thumbs up? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> That's it, that's the end of the vlog. Look at this face. Isn't that a pretty face? Shut up. Isn't this thing just adorable? Yes. Oh, just one hamster's squish. squish. It's too yeah. Cute. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, then consider hitting that subscribe button and consider sharing. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye. If you liked it, subscribe. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you liked it, comment.